can't get through it then. I can't get through it then. We're not bad bitches. So I just really need you to get together, okay? Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. Well, I thought I would um, do a follow up on um, Thomas because he put out a live a couple hours ago and we don't know if it's going to be up. So I want to make sure I get the information to you guys because that is what I do. <laughs> um, if anybody's new here um, or brand new, I do everything in chapter form and then we have commercials at the end. So this one isn't going to be another long one, you guys. I have two chapters. They're very, very awesome. And I have some of the best commercials. And Sam has a brand new one in the kitchen again. So we love those ones. <laughs> anyway, we are going to get right to it. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy ourselves. So before I go forward, I just want to also let everybody know again that anybody that I use in my commercials, I always have them in the description follow them. They're always great. I encourage everybody to help each other out, the channels. That's what I am all about as well. Um, also, please check out my community page, you guys. I post daily hilarious memes, but I also post what is going on with the channel too. So having said that, let's get to it. Uh, the channel or the <laughs> chapter is Thomas Markle Jr. explains what happened and what is being said about Rochel and surrogacy. Okay, so I just wanted to bring this. It's really short and it's trending. And so that is very interesting. So it says, according to a reliable source closely connected to several senior members of the royal family, there's been a growing sense of frustration within the palace regarding the narrative put forth by Harry and Meghan concerning their two children. Despite the couple's claims of having two children, including nearly three-year-old Archie, this is a little, must be a, hmm. anyways, they have that wrong, <laughs> doubts have begun to surface within the palace about the existence of these children. Behind closed doors, members of the royal family have expressed concerns about never having met or seen photos of Archie and Lilibet, despite Harry and Meghan residing in California. Now, isn't that strange, you guys? Weren't they supposedly there for Little Bet's birthday or what's going on now? Hmm. This discomfort prompted Charles to push for proof of the children's existence, leading Palisades to initiate a covert investigation into the Sussex children. Despite discreet inquiries with neighbors, mansion staff, and hospital records where the children were purportedly born, no evidence can be found to corroborate their existence. This explosive information was slated to be presented during a planned meeting between Prince Harry and senior family members ahead of their upcoming UK visit. However, Meghan caught wind of the royal family's suspicions regarding their alleged falsehoods concerning their children. Fearing public humiliation if confronted, Meghan pressured Harry into cancelling their trip to the UK. While security concerns were publicly cited as the reason for the cancellation, according to this source, this was merely a cover story. Oh, yes, I'm the one putting the... <laughs> I keep forgetting to tell you guys. There's ads in between these, so I always put pictures, so you have something to look at. Okay. Although the palace has never confirmed or denied these allegations, the source has a proven track record of revealing exclusive royal secrets, lending credibility to the account. If true, this revelation would have significant implications, potentially tarnishing Harry's reputation as a devoted father and eroding trust between him and the royal family. Similarly, Meghan's credibility and the foundation of their brand built around parenthood would be severely compromised. It's important to note that these are serious allegations that have not been independently verified. However, if proven true, it would represent a shocking betrayal and deception with far-reaching consequences for the royal family and the Sussexes. Despite the couple's claims of having two children, including nearly three-year-old Archie, I don't know why they put that. Okay. Doubts have begun to surface within the palace about the existence of these children. Behind closed doors, members of the royal family have expressed concerns about never having met or seen photos of Archie and Lilibet, despite Harry and Meghan residing in California. Huh, I wonder, the only thing I could think of, like, this was just posted a few days ago, unless it was an older post, but if it was, they're, they're putting it out now, um... For a reason, guys. So I'm just going to share a couple things with you. 
and then we'll get to Thomas. But yeah, I have a couple bump pictures I wanted to show you. So this is a comparison, um, and it's quite a difference, I think. <laughs> but that's just me, and I think you guys too. I didn't show this one yesterday because I don't want to always show the same stuff, but I'll show it today um, after Prince Philip was admitted to hospital and then filmed, but interview aired 7th of March, and that was uh, February 17th. So th this was taken 24 hours apart. It was it, That's absolutely impossible for that to be like that. It doesn't even look right. So this is a new one I hadn't seen before, guys. So, yeah, she's supposed to be... Seven and a half months pregnant in this. That's what she's supposed to be. She looks like she's about 10 months pregnant. <laughs> That's just me, though. But I thought, cool, I'll have something new to show you, at least for me, because I haven't seen this one before. This was two years ago, so... I. <sighs> But I also heard TMZ put up something again for a few minutes and then took it down about um, the palace making a statement. So this sounds very similar. So I'll just read it out. Uh, Harry and Meghan surrogate breaches NDA. I repeat, TMZ posted an article for four minutes this morning, 8-26-2021. Harry and Meghan's surrogate breaches NDA over unpaid outstanding expenses and slams Meghan's feminism. I'm currently in touch with all my sources and will update when I get a screenshot, the article, or when I get word back from TMZ. Update, the surrogate is allegedly going with starting a crowdfunding campaign to help with attorney fees because she knows how hard it will be to afford taking Harry and his wife to court. So everyone, please be on the lookout for a crowdfunding, uh, crowdfunding campaign. So how long has this been going on, guys? Because, I don't know. But now it's all coming out. This is all being reposted. This isn't, like, this old stuff. So it's very bizarre. But they bring up feminism. Yeah, I'm going to show you her feminism. I've shown this before, but it bears showing again. Because uh, the misogynist, the ugly truth about Meghan Markle's brand of feminism. On her resume was Caucasian supermodel. She wanted a man to give her value and finance her. She's no feminist. She has used men to get ahead. Get me a rich husband, she asked a friend. Female empowerment, my butt. So, yeah, that, that, that's her feminism. I just had to sprinkle that one in there. So I saw this and I thought, geez, you know what? This is really interesting. So I'm going to show you guys something. Okay, now we have another version of Archie looking nothing like <clears throat> any we've seen before where is this one from is this Augie Eugenie's son that's definitely not a soon-to-be five-year-old child he looks lo nothing like any kid we've seen yet notice again how he's partially obscured when do we ever see these kids clearly like we see Charlotte Louis and George and Louis all the time this is so freaky coming up you guys okay question did she and her friends all use the same eggs for their surrogates could be August Em has used him before to play Archie. Archie, the invisible kid that never ages. He's been stuck at two for four years. Those halfwits are playing some sort of hide and seek. So I put this down and that's <clears throat> August. But look at this one. Here's the child used for the part of Lilibet. Her name is Hartford Schroeder. She is on Instagram. Her mother is a actress, Stacey Schroeder. Stasi, sorry. Look at that. Don't those kids look so much alike? It makes total sense why they said, are they all using the same eggs or what? Seriously, you guys. Holy, no wonder everybody's confused. So I had to bring that to you. I don't know. I just put this together myself. This is not something I found. Like, I found the article, but all the pictures and stuff are me because I was comparing them and going, holy moly, this is crazy. Yeah, so I had to bring it to you. This kind of stuff is everywhere now, you guys. Is it normal not to gain any weight in the thigh and leg region at seven and a half months pregnant? Meghan Markle's legs were the same size from when she announced her pregnancy. October 2013, 2019. Totally right. Like, wow. This is the stuff that's everywhere. It's just, I'm telling you guys, well, I'm sure you know, if you're anywhere on the net, it's a blaze right now. So I went looking through all my stuff because I have so much stuff. 
and found this. Um, <clears throat> this is who MM claimed delivered Archie. My wife did not deliver Archie, but the son never contacted us to check if she had. Typical shabby journalism. Whereas the Daily Mail rang me the day before to check and I was able to tell him that she hadn't delivered Archie. So you guys remember this when I do, when this happened, when <clears throat> she claimed that this doctor helped deliver Archie and it turns out they weren't even in the, in the country. Wow. So I guess the Daily Mail isn't that bad sometimes. So then there's this one too. <clears throat> October or November 2023 that remember this was also when everything was supposed to come out previously I've posted about the kids from the source that occasionally gives a little info now and then they confirmed previously to Mr. VI that the kids are both surrogates but Megan's eggs were useless real age apparently 46 but if that's true I'm sure it would have had more traction so I'm unsure about that but Harry's sperm was used M was no, has no time for them, but H thinks playing with them for an hour a day when home makes him father of the year. Lady C is correct in saying they're fine, loved, and adored by all the staff, always happy to take a break and play with them. Sad that they're closer to the staff than their parents. This one I don't know about because I personally don't believe they live with them. But I don't know. I, but I don't believe that. So I just brought it out. Just to show you guys, but I personally don't believe the majority of this story. But, like I said, I'm going to bring you everything and then you guys can decide. That's just how I am. <laughs> so this is it, and then we're just going to go into Thomas. So this is Anonymous, Scalding Heart tea, Hot Tea. Friend of mine is acquaintances with British journalists who finally told my friend some very interesting tea. British intelligence informed... Uh, the Queen, several weeks before Princess Eugenie's wedding in 2018, that M was not pregnant with A. Not long after, the British re uh, newspaper editors were summoned to a meeting with the Queen in 1844 room at Buckingham Palace. The British pre press has been silent on the fake malignancy since then. Wow. So, I think we were right, you guys. It was a super injunction. I also explained what a super injunction is compared to an injunction. Um, an injunction is when they, they're silenced, right? But a super injunction is when they can't even talk. It's an extra layer of privacy. They can't even talk about there being a, an injunction. So it's super, super injunction. Yeah. All right. So let's see what Thomas has to say. And then we're going to get to commercials. And then I have a very, very brief, uh, fun, fun chapter and a new Sam I haven't seen yet, but the one in the kitchen. So let's just get to it. Make sure you spend a hundred dollars a day to keep me in the lifestyle I've grown accustomed to. Mm -hmm. Archie, Lily, you can't play with my mm -hmm. Harry, shut up! I'm filming. <laughs> Hello, I'm Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. There is nothing I like more than pretending that I can cook. You probably think I grew these flowers. Well, I didn't. Here I am in my pretend kitchen. This is where I steal all of my old boyfriend's recipes. <laughs> Archie, Lily, stay out of there. Mommy will beat you if you're noisy. <laughs> I love to dress up in ball gowns and then go and scare the neighbors. Harry and I like to pretend a lot. I love to lock Harry in our subterranean dungeon. I keep him in there for days. That's when I can take my parking lot walks. <laughs> Thank you so much for visiting African American Riviera Orchard. I hope you will buy all of my merchandise. Please visit us as often as possible. Sussex Squad, make sure you spend a hundred dollars a day to keep me in the lifestyle I've grown accustomed to. Shit on a shingle. What a, what an amazing couple of days it's been. A few days. And here we got everybody joining in now. That's nice. As a really good friend of mine said, I just have to say something. Allegedly, in my opinion, something. Allegedly, in my opinion, something. So, yeah, something. <laughs> oh, I hope everybody's having a great rest of their weekend. So, good, happy Monday morning in the UK. 
uh, lunchtime in Australia and good evening Canada. So I think those are the majority of my viewers and so quite a few in the United States also, but hmm. anyway, so here we are back in, back in my little, uh, in my studio apartment here, um, in the middle of nowhere, doing what I do best talking to everybody that just needs to know. So let me just let me start. God, we have so many comments rolling through so fast. All right. Oh, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Um, so yeah, I took, took that video down just because, um, and everybody who copied it and put it everywhere else, including me, you know, they just take it down. They just keep taking it down, taking it down. Why? I mean, since we're on the subject here, um, don't you think it's about time that, like, the world needs to know? My family needs to know. The royal family needs to know. Everybody wants to know. What is all the controversy about? I mean... If there's no issue with the kids, if there's no issue with the kids, then prove it. Plain and simple. Prove it. But no, we've got an army of, of robots and Sussex squad just taking stuff down left and right. Everything to do with everything about that off the Internet. But it's really funny because when, when I comb through YouTube and all many other internet sites, what do I find? I find so many other videos that are out there saying the same thing, pretty much the same exact thing from a year ago. And they don't take them down. They don't cancel their channels. They don't delete their channels. And so what's going on? I mean, there's just so much out there. And it's gotten to the point now where the fiasco and it's just gone on way too long. And there's so much at stake here because there is. There's titles. There's line of succession. And all these things need to be addressed. And we want to know. The world wants to know. The royal family. I can't say if they know already or not, allegedly, in my opinion. I just don't, I just don't know. But... Everybody wants to know because it's just one more thing on top of a big stack of shit that's already been called out. And so that's where we're at with that. What, I mean, what is going to happen? What is with the media blackout? What, why is that still going on? I mean, I think, I think it's, you know, Brass tacks, it's got it's gotta happen. We have to find out. I mean, we just need to know. And if anybody wants to know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the kids. All right. I'm just gonna say it straight out. The kids. What is the deal with the kids? That's all. I didn't say whose kids. I didn't say but <laughs> it, it is what it is. What's the deal with the kids? If there's nothing to hide then prove it instead of like washing out the media and controlling what you can control with all your little paid PR channels and news outlets and that, 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 whatever. Spit it out. If you got nothing to hide, put your money where your mouth is all right? or somebody else's money where your mouth is. I just have to say that. So yeah, but you know, and then uh, today all over first thing, first thing out of the gate is lady C being attacked by the Sussex squad. <laughs> so that brings me to just another subject in itself right there, all by itself. If, why, if and why, why haven't you done anything about the Sussex squad? Okay. You just let these people, I mean, you pay them, allegedly in my opinion, you pay them to go after people and attack their bank accounts, their credit cards, my channel, my Instagram, um, YouTube, 
You know, you just, I mean, seriously. And then they get in and they uh, attack my members, like credit cards and, and, and shit like that. It's just like they attack Catherine, Princess Catherine, everybody who says anything about the truth. Okay. Okay. So guys, I got quite a bit of it for you. I just wanted to make sure I got some in case it was put down again. Um, but of course, everybody go watch it and see what he has to say. But he's standing by what he's saying, basically, and he's calling her out, and he's like, "Enough's enough. It's time. It's time now." So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I believe it's coming. I do. I truly do believe it's coming. So, anyways, I have a commercial with Ami in it. It's got Prince Harry in it, but he also does so many other voices of other famous people. <laughs> this one's going to be hysterical. So. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you. And yeah, commercial, short, um, very short chapter coming. And then Sam, and we're done. Okay, well, make sure you lean to the left, but also sit at least six feet apart. And when you dip your finger in the wine, make sure the droplets don't get on the plate next to you. <laughs> Aha, well, you know, you don't want to lean too far to the left because we don't know when the left can go too far. It's like... <laughs> Dr. Peterson, why is this night different than all the other nights? Well, you know, I don't really like the way the question is formulated, you know? <laughs> Ten plagues? More like twelve rules. <laughs> Clean your chametz and your room. <laughs> we all know that matzah makes you constipated. I don't want to talk about Egypt. I want to talk about Sweden and Denmark. <laughs> why is the matzah white? And also the plague of darkness. I mean, that's clearly a digger. Um... <laughs> We need to modernize the conversation. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. Like, this ancient Egyptian civilization mm -hmm. built the pyramids by hand. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> oh. God saved the Jews with an outstretched arm and a strong hand. Well, my hands, they say, are small, but I can tell you there's not a problem. <laughs> we actually have a booster vaccine for the Boyles variant. <laughs> frogs? Look, I told you they are putting chemicals in the water to turn the frogs gay. This is Svargaia, not Svardaya. <laughs> Who invited you? I did. Me too. Sorry. It's crazy. Well, bathroom number seven. Gotta use them all up, don't I? Oh, I'm getting ready for the SXSW panel. I don't think anybody knows that I have to pay for Katie Kirk and Brooke Shields just to be there. And they certainly aren't A-list. But what do I do? I have no choice. I'm going through withdrawal for a microphone. And, well, it is H's money. I know it's his inheritance from, you know, Diana, but it'll go from me. And that's all that matters. <laughs> and I know exactly what I'm going to talk about. Of course, my so bad story. Because everybody loves that, and they actually believe that crap. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta make my own commercials. <laughs> okay, this chapter, the L.A. Children's Hospital, Shady, and Aiko's water cooler gossip, Dorito, Kardashians. Look at this, you guys. <laughs> M.M. channels Princess Diana as she reads at Children's Hospital in L.A. What the hell? That's the New York, what, page six? I almost died when I saw this. I'm not reading it all, but it says, uh, Meghan Markle had a Princess Diana moment on March 21st when she stopped by to visit L.A. Children's Hospital. The Duchess of Sussex 42, ha, huh? Surprised pa patients and staff members last month during the hospital's month-long campaign. What a bunch of crap. Anyways, I wrote, this hospital plays for pay. Remember Amber Heard? Oh my goodness, another typo, you guys. What is wrong with me? Anyway, <laughs> I need my glasses when I type these out. And I said, there's no pictures of MM on their website. So, also, I have something else to show you. So look at that. This was with Amber Heard. 
And it's only when the hospital was forced to give over their um, books did the truth come out. Because look, um, it shows here that there are donations and the 1 million to 5 million has Ms. Amber, Amber Heard there. And we all know she didn't pay them. I don't know. This hospital here, I don't trust them. They are shady AF. Uh, I hope they are helping the children. I don't know if all the money's going to them, but um, yeah, celebrities use this hospital for PR, you guys. It's really, really, really sad. Then <laughs> somebody showed me this, and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I took a screenshot, or they, I took a screenshot, sorry. Um, and I wrote, someone needs a manicure. Sign away, Rochel. You aren't royal. Because <laughs> I saw an article that says, oh, she's breaking tradition. She's signing and they're not allowed. She's not royal. And look, first of all, her hands look, oh, not good. She needs a manicure, something fierce. <laughs> her fingernail isn't even, even. I'm a, I'm an, I'm a nail tech, you guys, so... That's why I, I pick up on this stuff. Sorry. <laughs> I never told anybody that, but I'm, yeah. And she's got a hell of a hang now that she's eating or something there. She got to get some work done. <laughs> and this, by the way, was totally not last month. It was in 2022. Oh, shockingly, at the same time, she, they said they were at Frogmore. Can't be at two places at the same time. I said this in the video before, but I'm reiterating it because we are calling her out. This is just this page, and I saw it, and I'm like, oh, my. MM spits on cruel cyberbullying toxic social media culture. MM is really frustrated. One might even say she's royally frustrated. Oh, please, please. She's behind the biggest campaign out there. Well, you heard Thomas. This is ridiculous. So this was really interesting because this is from the mirror, you guys. MM's American Riviera Orchard is undermined by fake accounts on Insta. We all knew it. I showed you guys the proof like two, three, I think two videos ago. I can't remember. I can't remember you guys, but I did where everybody was showing that it was half fake people and I don't even think she's past 500,000, which they had, what, 7 million before? So, yeah, it's tanking big time. So, I found an excerpt from um, uh, Lady Con Colin Campbell's new book. And by the way, guys, um, I did look into some people were getting refunds back and some couldn't order in that. I did manage to get one from Amazon and then they were sold out so I think it's just a sold out situation um yeah so I'm hoping to get it as soon as I get it I'm going to be definitely letting you guys know what's in it and I'll talk about it if you want or whatever you want me to do with it but okay it says here although Nikki <clears throat> was careful not to unmask Dorito Sam told me that M's mother was a pothead in Kraken who smoked dope in front of all of them oh my god and the neighbors as well, embarrassing the family by puffing on reefers in the garden. She also openly availed herself of the benefits of white powder. Holy! And Sam has expressed the view in the light of M's subsequent conduct, whether Dorito's love of mood-altering substances might well have affected M in the womb. For Sam remembers Dorito partaking during her pregnancy and diminishing... All <clears throat> dismissing all concerns out of hand. Certainly M displays going off of her conduct. Many of the same, uh, many of the characteristics of fetuses who are affected in the womb by substances. Holy moly. Lady C is taking no prisoners. Holy crap. That is what she's saying about Rochel. Good for her. Here's another one. I'm just going to read what they highlighted. There exists a record of one Doria Raglan who was sentenced for fraud in the Riverside County Court, California case ID, MS 79453DR, as well as one Dorito Lois Raglan with an offender idea, ID of, well, really long number. 
But this author does not suggest that th these individuals are the same. Dorita Raglan, who is Megan's mother and Thomas Markle Sr., has refrained over the years from violating his ex-wife's privacy. Loyally refusing to discuss Dorito's absence, even with his other children. Well, I have a whole video about this, guys. Like, this was no news, really. But for Lady C to bring it out, we know, we know it's facts for sure. So it's just this, guys, and then we get to watch Sam. And I haven't seen it yet, so I'm excited. He's just been pumping them out. Really exciting. And this one's another kitchen one, so yay. <laughs> okay. I was really interested in this one. Dorito Raglan, seen with uh, Tina Knowles and Kris Jenner on separate occasions. It is said they formed a new clique in recent months. Chris has told a close source, it's mutually beneficial hobnobbing to cozy up to royal blood. Sure, why not? And there's a lot we can do for them. And then someone says, how did Dorita get royal blood? Right? Someone wrote, Chris wants to get hold of the little ones, maybe? That would make an excellent reality show if they were somehow included. And Dorito, she probably has the good stuff that everybody wants. <laughs> And let's not forget, as it stands today, Archie is the next Duke of Sussex. Heredity title, folks. Do we think Kris Jenner wouldn't angle to marry off one of her Kardashian spawn to Archie? <laughs> to become the next Duchess of Sussex and clutter up the LOS with Kardashian trash? Oh my lord, you guys, that's the biggest nightmare ever. Do we think M wouldn't marry off her children to a billionaire family? Imagine what can come of this match made in hell. I firmly believe the titles need to be stripped and the entire Harko family removed from the LOS. Yes! Someone says, I have not thought about that. No! You are right. What a nightmare. Imagine the wedding where the royal family meets trash TV, all filmed by, filmed by Netflix. Harry would do that just to piss off his family. This is why I think it's important to remove all connection to the RF. We can crow on and on about how their titles mean nothing, but they do. How insignificant they'll be in the LOS eventually, which is true. But again, still in it. Oh my God, you guys. I never thought of that. That is some crazy stuff. If they're cozy, well, I knew they were cozying up to the Kardashians, hello, but I never even thought of that. I knew that the Kardashians would use them too, but holy moly, if there was an Archie with them, I don't believe there is, thank God. I hope not. I hope, oh God, I hope not. Oh, okay. So that's it, guys. This one's just a short one. Um, I'm going to try to do shorter ones when I can. Um, yeah. See what you guys think about that and uh, go from there. I still want to do some of my deeper dives too, though, too, because I can't fit everything into these. And yeah, but anyway, let's just watch Sam. And thank you so much for being here and all my new subs. And thank you so much. And my all of you guys are so great, honestly. My um, comment section, I spent a full day answering you guys. <laughs> I was so thankful. Okay. I will see you in the next one. So press like if you liked it. And uh, yeah, have a great night. Welcome back to Meg in the Kitchen. I'll be your main course, but we all need a garnish. That'll be Harry. <laughs> you know and now we're going to start off this week by talking about your kitchen and how you manage it. Now, do you clean as you go? Huh? Do you keep your work surfaces sanitized? Or are you a pig? A filthy, <laughs> disgusting, messy pig. Well, to be perfectly honest, it doesn't matter. Because either way, you need this product. The humble kitchen tap. <laughs> the beauty is in the simplicity. And the money. <laughs> a kitchen towels are useful and convenient because you can, you know, mop up spillages <laughs> on the work surfaces or soak up your tears if you cry. <laughs> True, Harry. They are indeed multifunctional. <laughs> and they're primarily used for the absorption of liquids. But you can also do some light scrubbing on the kitchen tile. <laughs> we guarantee that our paper towels will absorb any liquid. And that's not all. That's not all. Our paper towels are very special and very rare. <laughs> it certainly is, Harry, you camera-hugging little redhead. We've done something truly groundbreaking here. You know, we've bought them in bulk, for as cheap as we possibly can. And instead of just flogging them on with our logo on... Mm -hmm. 
we've actually unraveled the whole roll <laughs> and we've rewound it in the opposing direction. Yeah, we've got a whole host of professionals working around the clock. <laughs> And these unique, <laughs> individually reverse roll kitchen towels can be yours for just $39.75. Oh, my God. Or a packet of six for $299.85. <laughs> what a bargain, Harry. But not our only one of the day. We've also got this extraordinary soft bed linen. But with a twist. Now, Harry, when is bed linen at its absolute best? Um, I'd say after it's been used once and then washed and laundered. You know, that's where its peak performance is. <laughs> that's correct, Harry, after it's been used once. And I can personally assure you that our bed sheets, all of them, have been slept in by me <laughs> once. So after you finally receive these bed sheets, after what will probably be a few months, they'll already be at their peak. <laughs> I just can't believe that we take the time to sleep in them and then wash them. <laughs> no, no, we don't wash them. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> we don't because, well, you know, some people might want to, you know, sleep in sheets that have been used by royalty without being washed. <laughs> whatever. This way they've got the choice, you know, wash them, don't wash them, whatever. Stop making an issue out of this. <laughs> when we should be making an issue out of the fact that the whole set, that's the bed sheet, the pillowcases, and the duvet cases are selling for just $2,450.99. <laughs> Don't forget that PMP. <laughs> so get over to www.muchasmula.com and secure your pre used bed linen right now. Whew. What about you, Harry? But these deals are really wearing me out. <laughs> so after a short break, we're going to be back with what I no doubt will be an ocean of emotion and commotion at the price <laughs> of our body lotion. Hey, welcome back, you hungry little shoppers. Uh, now, get those credit cards out, because we're about to talk body lotion. <laughs> That's how you manage to look so young, isn't it, Megan? It sure is, Harry. That and deceptive camera angles and good old-fashioned lies. <laughs> and our lotion has been bolstered with extra grease. <laughs> tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> and this stuff's as greasy as John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John with Frankie Valley on top. <laughs> but much more expensive. <laughs> the extra grease prevents people from being able to grip onto you if you decide you need to slip away. It can get you out of all types of tight spots like boring interviews or <laughs> awkward meetings with the bank manager or marriages that are no longer beneficial to your plans. <laughs> it's the new thing. Everyone's <laughs> trying it and how are you going to know if you don't give it a whirl now? Come on, baby, buy some body <laughs> lotion. That's right, Harry. Splash that cash. And at the moment, we have a special offer on only $139.55. Oh uh, don't spill any. It's very hard to get out of your clothes. <laughs> Which brings us nicely on to our penultimate product of the day. These beautiful avocado aprons. Oh, now, I got the idea from a dear, dear friend over in California who sent me one as a gift. <laughs> now, I won't embarrass her, but she knows who she is. And I just wanted to say a special thank you, as you will to me, after purchase. <laughs> and don't forget, every hundredth order comes with a free avocado tea towel that we only charge you an extra $45 for. <laughs> but that's not it. Every thousandth order comes with an actual avocado. <laughs> Holy guacamole, Megan. I know, Harry. But we can't stay on this product any longer because we've got just enough time to tell you about these rejuvenation certificates. <laughs> That's right. You can knock off up to five years off your real age. Oh so forget God. about extensive beauty regimes or <laughs> dangerous corrective surgeries. Order one of these babies today. Oh you can get God. five years off of your life. <laughs> or buy three and you'll be back in your I childhood gym jams by the end of the week. <laughs> we all want to be five years younger. And now you can. <laughs> for only $99,999.99. Oh. <laughs> It's the future we've all been dreaming of. <laughs> That's right, Harry, but our producers are signaling like mad that i got to wrap things up. So I'm just going to say, have a wonderful week. Okay.